Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here at the Arizona State Libertarian Party Convention with none other than the chair of the Arizona State Libertarian Party, Howard Blitz. He's also the chair of Yuma County Libertarians. And here in Arizona, th this actually means jumping through a lot of government hoops with our party status legally. It, this is a little silly, isn't it, Howard? What do we have to do in Arizona? I, I'm not allowed, as, a, as someone who's not allowed to register to vote as a felon, to even be a party officer in Arizona. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we are, we do have party status here in the state of Arizona. We've been maintained. I got the official letter from the official Secretary of State's office of Arizona. Government got, permission. Government permission, once again. But we're having a real hard time getting ballot access at the county levels. Now we've got several counties, I think it's four, that have ballot access. In Yuma County, we just lost ballot access by 12 registrants. Can you believe this? So what we're trying to do, and, and, and I'm going to see if AZLP will, will help us with this, is to get the law changed so that instead of having to go to the petition factory, now, now since we've lost our ballot access, we have to go and get 660 signed signatures on a petition. But instead of doing that, what I'd like to see is for us to be allowed to get more registrants, the number of registrants that we need in order to have ballot access. That's kind of like the same thing as getting registered vote, uh, you know, petitions on a, you know, signatures on a petition. So what's the difference? When you're dealing with all these administrative hurdles, do you ever feel like, why can't we just talk to the people there? Why do we have to jump through these? Is it worth it? I mean, what you have put in a lot. How, what makes it worth it to you to, to fill out all the forms, to jump through the hoops, to play these government games? To, is the legwork to get a libertarian on the ballot so that people have a choice? Well, we have to give, that's just it. We need to give the people the choice. All I hear around Yuma, and I'll bet you you and everybody else in this room today, and probably everywhere around the country, are belly aching. We don't have anybody to vote for. We, we, don't like, we don't like Republicans. We don't like Democrats. But that's all we got. So I'm going to vote for the lesser of two evils. Well, we're trying to give them that option. I keep telling all my friends, vote Libertarian. Yeah, but he's not going to win. Well, he would win if you would all just <laughs> vote for him or her. You know, I mean, Sorry, give me I, I, can't, I can't help it. When you mention it like that, I have to make the South Park reference. Yes, the Republicans and Democrats give you a choice between a giant douche and a turd sandwich, and Libertarians are trying to offer you exactly. a real choice despite the government putting up all these roadblocks. Exactly, and that's why we go through these hoops and ladders to try and give, try to make the Libertarian Party the party. I mean, it is the party. It's the only party that's going to respect the rights of every single human being. So in Arizona, you're specifically working on outreach to members, getting people more involved. To the general public, when you say, look, we're the party of principle, we don't just have different positions, we actually operate differently, we're going to make you feel included and, and respect your voice in the Libertarian Party. What would your message to the general public be based on that? Why should they join the LP? They should join the LP because basically those people really are libertarians as far as i can tell i have never met anybody i don't know anybody that would utilize force on somebody to get their way i don't know anybody like that yeah there are people like that i'm not saying there aren't <laughs> you're just lucky to, to not be friends with a lot of democrat and republican elected officials they're called criminals okay that's who do that those kinds of things but nobody that i know of goes around saying hey i think uh Abortion's illegal, or I think you shouldn't be using drugs. Well, they don't go around with a gun saying you don't, you shouldn't use, you shouldn't use drugs. You, you know, I, I don't know anybody, and I don't think anybody else does either. So, to me, in my mind, everybody is a libertarian. What we have to do as libertarians is get that belief structure, like all the candidates up here, you included. We're saying we have to present this message to them to show them that they really are a libertarian. They just don't understand. They don't know it. <laughs> Every human being with an independent will wants that will to be respected. And that's what freedom is all about. That's the foundation of principle and the party of principle. Howard, thank you so much. And thank you for all the work that you do. You, I, I know what it takes to, not from experience, fortunately, but I know from a lot of <laughs> near experience what it takes to be a state chair in the LP, yeah, herding cats. I'll tell you something. I got a lot of help. I don't do this. Everybody else does it. I just kind of like look around and make sure everything's kind of getting done. But I don't do the hard, hard work. All the hard work's done by the three major people that I just mentioned, Robert, Emily, and, and uh, Jeff. 
So of course, lp.org for the National Party. Yeah. Any, any, and for the Arizona Party. Yeah, anything AZ, else? Azlp.org for the for the State Party, right? Awesome. Thank you so much, Howard. Adam versus the Man is made possible by people who care about freedom, like our Patreon supporters, whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content. Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com/slash Adam versus the Man.